Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be discussing everything Pepe, see what is happening, and of course, what is yet to come. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You know, if we're looking at majority of the markets, you know, we did see the daily candle close above the uh, $61,000 price point for Bitcoin, and that is a huge plus point. If you did watch my, you know, bonk update, I kind of did emphasize the importance of that. So, you know, we did close the monthly candle, um, you know, above that support line, which is really, really nice to see. And, um, you know, if we're looking at a majority of the markets right now, you know, we're still seeing a little bit of, um, you know, coins here and there that are obviously uh, seeing a little bit of a minor pullback due to Bitcoin uh, seeing a little bit of a retracement. But, you know, majority of the market is looking good. And as far as Pepe is concerned, it's down about 8.9% before anyone comes out and says, oh, this, oh, that, you know, I want you guys to realize how much Pepe has been up over the past one month. And of course, on the last uh, week, it's up 126%. You know, I did see some of the comments coming in. That's why I am uh, saying this, you know, I saw two to three comments um, on my recent update saying, oh, why is Pepe going down? You know, it's barely down after having such a massive, massive move. But, you know, um, nonetheless, let's uh, take a look and see what is happening. So if you're looking at the rank of Pepe today as of February 29th, it's currently sitting at the top 82 spot. Uh, with the price uh, currently sitting at 28 to 23 so you know we're still seeing about five zeros in front of the price we're down about 7.3 percent in all three comparatives bitcoin usd and ethereum comparative market cap still above a billion dollar mark to be exact 1.2 billion and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 807 million dollars so of course you know compared to yesterday in terms of buying pressure um, and of course sell pressure in terms of just the volume in general has declined and you know that is to be expected uh, because you know we've been seeing a massive massive upside over the past few days and you know obviously um you know, we're seeing a little bit of a cool off happening as of now but you know the price is looking great you know when i pull out the uh, ta i'm gonna share as to why i think that and as you guys know i give you guys a neutral uh, analysis you know if it's looking bearish i will tell you it's looking bearish if it's actually looking bullish i will actually tell you that it is looking bullish but let's waste no more time and get right into it, but before we go into it any further as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so you know we're going to start off by looking at some of the um you know tweets that they have made so, you know crypto.com one of the biggest exchanges and you know one of the most popular exchanges when it comes to newcomers coming into the space and, you know they did um you know post this pepe logo um you know with emojis and you can see pretty much what they say happy leap day and of course you know that is nice to see and um you know pepe team itself you know obviously bringing in engagement as you can see you know they also tweeted uh recently and obviously if you guys don't know about this coin market cap is doing uh you know the nomination of meme coin of the year so if you want to vote you could do so by clicking this link down below um in my personal opinion uh, you know i already know which one um, is the meme coin of the year and i'm sure you guys know uh which one i personally think is but if you guys want to vote pepe do um uh vote down below um obviously um here at coinmarketcap.com but you know nonetheless obviously right now as i've said to you guys in my you know recent updates you know we are seeing engagement increasing and you know engagement increasing times like this you know is not a surprise and this is what you need to keep in mind at all times you know when it really matters is times when you know you're seeing quite a bit of uncertainty that's when you really realize um uh, you know how serious the team is and you know we honestly to be quite frank with you you guys didn't really see a lot of seriousness coming from its team that is running Pepe uh, throughout the uncertainty uh, times, which we, which were literally about like two to three months back. Um, and um, now, of course, you know, as the price is pumping up, all of a sudden, you know, they're tweeting and stuff like that. So, you know, I always look at that. I look at every small detail. Maybe you don't do that, but I definitely do. Uh, everyone has different ways to analyze, and that's how I analyze. But you know, if you're looking at the dominance index, dominance index is still around 54.29%. Again, majority of the momentum right now is still with Bitcoin because Bitcoin still is looking really really strong but now if you're looking at the price of Bitcoin right now this is what I want you guys to take a look at so of course we're seeing a little bit of a minor pullback uh, since yesterday's high and you know if you want to put this move into perspective we're only seeing about a 5% drop and now before anyone comes out and says anything negative let's just go back on February 26th which was just three days back you're looking at the biggest asset class in the cryptocurrency market go up 24% meaning we saw about 240 billion dollars flow into bitcoin in three days less than three days too and if you really want to put that into perspective you know that is 200 times uh you know pepe's market cap 
let that sink in. And that's how much of money has flown into Bitcoin over the past three days. So, you know, the move that we're seeing recently should not be a surprise as to what's really happening. And again, you know, this is painting a picture as to how important this massive institutional money really is. You know, we were talking about the ETF for such a long time, but now you really start to realize the importance of that. But now let's take a step further and look at the price, because as far as the price is concerned, it's looking really, really good. But with that being said, you know, I want you guys to realize where the price of Pepe is sitting at right now right now so of course after having this significant rally you know again you want to put this into uh, perspective um, you can see oh, it's a 200% move over the past three days but what you're seeing is from its yearly high we're seeing a retracement of about 22.2% so after having a 200% move you know a 23% pullback is a very normal and reason why we're seeing the pullback is because of Bitcoin you need to realize this and right now we're, we're seeing with Bitcoin is you're seeing a little bit of a retracement and um, you know we might see again we might see a shake off reason as to why I think we might see a shake off is because you know uh, right now a lot of people are mega bullish and we might be seeing a lot of longs piling up and you know what whales do they'll try to manipulate the markets and shake out the uh, massive longs that are piling up so you know again another reminder of why you want to be staying away from leverage trading you can get completely wrecked um, you know super super fast but you know major level of support coming up at that 60k you know I would expect that to hold um, but you know next few hours could be very very important but the craziest um, thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is the fact that you know the price of BTC did close up its um, you know monthly candle above 60k mark that is what's worthwhile noting so let's not forget about that but you know do keep a very close eye on BTC you know very very strong support around 59,265 if we were to lose the support at 60k but we're gonna take it one step at a time but as far as Pepe is concerned as mentioned to you guys you know it's holding at some crucial crucial price levels so you're seeing a 22% pullback again you know it's to be expected uh, but you know look at the support now this support is extremely extremely important you know if we're not able to hold around the support guys we could go down to 2419 and possibly even uh, 2182 so that retest you know could still happen and if you want to uh, put that into perspective that could be an additional 20% pullback and possibly even making our way back down to the 2085 if these support lines are not able to hold um, so you know this is what you need to realize and don't get greedy and you know I've been saying this for such a long time you know you never want to get greedy like learn from the previous moves learn from the previous moves and if you are a follower on my channel um, I don't care how long there is <clears throat> left until the bull market comes to an end but you know when you see these life-changing gains you want to be locking in profits if you don't there will be other people that will come and lock in profits before you so what I'm currently looking at is if the price is able to hold up you know at the support line you know I am expecting that you know moving into Friday especially if Bitcoin is able to uh, go back above to uh, 62 K level I am expecting that you know we will see um, you know Pepe bouncing back but if Bitcoin sees a little bit of a minor shakeout you know I could see see um you know the 2419 support being re retested and then of course if that is not able to hold the 2196 so you know so far so good you know the price is still looking absolutely amazing i still personally believe you know there was some massive amounts of manipulation behind this move but of course you know this has got everyone buzzing again you know the hype factor is definitely there so you know this could lead pepe to go towards all-time highs but you know these are some key levels you need to be taking a look at as well as taking a look at bitcoin let me know down below what you guys personally think love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out